Hello, today we're gonna start chapter 4. We're gonna talk about closing entries and how to prepare post-closing trial balance. In order to measure each period's net income separately from income of all other periods, revenues and expenses are closed. The closing process is a step in the accounting cycle that occurs at the end of the period. The closing process consists of journalizing and posting the closing entries to set the balances of the revenues, expenses, income summary, and withdrawals accounts to zero for the next period. Okay, that's why we have temporary accounts and permanent accounts. Now, we close revenues, expenses, and withdrawals, and we transfer the balances to the only permanent equity account, which is capital. Okay, so we do not close assets, liabilities, and capital. In the previous slide, we said we're going to close revenues, expenses, and withdrawals, but we're going to journalize four closing entries to close those three accounts. The first one to close revenues, the second one to close expenses, the third one to close income summary, and the fourth one is to close withdrawals. Let's see how we're going to close those accounts. Closing entries. The first closing entry is to close revenues. As you know, revenues normal balance is credit okay so i want to make this account balance equals to zero that's why you need to debit this account okay so revenues are credit nature so to close them i need to debit them so the entry will be revenues and the debit side to an account called income summary in the credit side this account it's not a real account you're not gonna see it in the trial balance we just use it for closing revenues and expenses now the second closing entry is to close expenses and the normal balance for expenses is debit so to close this account i will credit this account what shall I debit? I'm going to debit income sum. Again, this is not a real account. It's going to help me in the closing process. And I'm going to credit expenses. The third closing entry is to close income summary. For the income summary, we don't have a normal balance. Okay, that's why we need to draw a T account for the income summary okay we're gonna take the numbers from the first and the second entry so as you can see in the first entry we credited income summary and the amount was for revenues okay and in the second closing entry we debited income summary and the amounts was for expenses okay so the balance and the income summary t account will be net income or net loss it might be debit or credit so if it was net income okay the entry will be income summary to capital i need to increase capital with a net income okay and if it was net loss I'm going to debit capital and credit income summary. Now, the fourth closing entry is to close withdrawals. As you know, withdrawals normal balance is debit. So to close withdrawals, I'm going to credit this account. So the entry will be capital in the debit side to withdrawals and the credit side a 
according to the accounting cycle. We're gonna start with the beginning balances, then we're gonna analyze and journalize transactions, then we're gonna post them to the ledger, then we're gonna find the balances in the T accounts and we prepare the trial balance. After that, we do the adjusting entries and we prepare the adjusted trial balance, which is this one. After that, we will prepare the financial statements and we can do the closing entries then the post closing trial balance so for the closing process i need to use the adjusted trial balance as you can see now from cash until land those are the assets accounts from accounts payable until notes payable those are the liabilities from capital until interest expense, those are the equity accounts. Now for the closing process, we need to look only at our equity accounts because we're going to close revenues, expenses, and withdrawals. Now let's do the closing entries. Again, we said we're going to look only at our equity accounts. So the first closing entry is to close revenues okay so we need to look at our revenues accounts as you can see it's on the credit side okay so to close it to make this account balance equals to zero i need to debit this account okay so i'm gonna debit service revenue And I'm gonna credit income summary. Again, income summary, it's not a real account, it's an account that will help me to close revenues and expenses. And the amount will be 17,500. So we are done with the first closing entry. Now, the second closing entry is to close expenses. Okay. As you can see, expenses are debit nature. Okay. So, to close this account, to make the balance for these accounts equals to zero, I need to credit them. And I need to debit income summary. After crediting all of our expenses account, I need to find the total for the debit side. Okay, so the income summary will be in the debit side for the total expenses, which is 8,950. Now, third closing entry is to close income summary. Income summary, it's not a real account, so I'm not going to see if it's debit or credit and we do the opposite. I need to draw a T account for the income summary to decide if it's a net income situation or a net loss situation. So let's see. According to the first closing entry, I credited income summary for 17,500, which is the revenues. And in the second entry, I debited income summary for 8,950 and this is the total expenses so let's write them down 17,500 credit revenues amount and 8,950 debit side for the expenses so now the balance for this T account will be the difference between debit and credit and it is 8,550 credit side because revenues are greater than my expenses so it's going to be net income situation. So again, to close this account, I want to make the balance for it equals to zero. Since I have a credit balance, I need to debit this account. So income summary and the debit side and we said we're gonna transfer 
all the balances to the only permanent equity account which is capital okay and the amount is the net income eight thousand five fifty now fourth closing entry is to close withdrawals withdrawals is debit nature so to close withdrawals i need to credit this account so the entry will be capital in the debit side to withdrawals in the credit side okay and the amount is the withdrawals amount which is five thousand okay now as you can see after the closing process revenues balance now it's zero expenses are zero withdrawals is zero and we transferred all of these to the permanent equity account which is capital okay so let's find the new balance for the capital after the closing process let's draw a t account for the capital account and see now as you can see the beginning capital from the adjusted trial balance it's 48,000 now let's see the closing entries the first closing entry did not affect the capital account also the second one did not affect the capital account now the third one capital was credited by 8,550 which is the net income amount if it was a net loss situation, it's going to be on the debit side. It's going to be the opposite of this entry. It's going to be capital to income summary. Now, in the fourth closing entry, capital was on the debit side and the amount was for withdrawals. So let's find the ending balance. The ending balance will be 51,550. This is capital after closing revenues expenses and withdrawals now to prepare post closing trial balance which means after closing the revenues expenses and withdrawals and transferring the balances to the only permanent equity account which is capital revenues expenses and withdrawals are closed so the balances will become equals to zero and we transferred all of these to the only permanent equity account which is capital so the post closing trial balance it's going to be assets liabilities and instead of these accounts you're going to have only the capital after closing which is 51 550 this is the new balance after the closing process these are the permanent accounts thank you for watching if you have any question please leave a comment please like share and subscribe